people who are against transgenders, you're against God. I told you last Sunday, every person you meet is made in the image and likeness of God. You be careful how you judge them. You be careful, you, yeah, you, you prayer warriors and you spiritual people because until you become prophetic, or until you become a pastor, you really have no right to treat them other than with love and respect. You have no right to do that. Christians are not those that have a checklist and will treat you based on how you check the boxes. The underlying tone in this country is anger and division. It's not abortion. I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but the same folk who say they have right to life having as many abortions as those who want abortion. See, I know that. I've known it for a long time. So don't try to fool with me. I'm not to be fooled with. You, you, you against abortion, but you won't fund universal child care. You won't fund quality education, but you, but you against abortion. You won't fund health care for human beings. I'm a prophet. I will not be muzzled by your popular feeling. I see you. I know who you are. I understand the underlying issue is to cause division. We better ask the Lord to give us a spirit of Christ. Andy Stanley said in this book, we are, Christians are not in it to win it.